from our Pretoria studios is the artist himself. Tato, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, hello there. Thank you for having me. All right. Talk to us about uh, discovering the technique of painting with hair, dye and brushes. How did you come to this uh, discovery? Uh, traditionally, I'm actually, uh, I used uh, oil and acrylic paints to actually create my works. But for this exhibition, I had to come up with something new. So I, I chose a non-traditional material to actually use the artwork. So I thought using hair dye would actually take me out of my comfort zone and actually challenge me to actually create the works themselves. All right. Talk to us about the exhibition. What is the exhibition about? What is the significance of the title of the exhibition? Uh, the title of the exhibition is called Die My Memories. It's a body of work that uh, focuses on the use of hair dye. And it, it, it's for to a documentation of my memories of where I started, I grew up as an artist to where I am now. And it's basically an exploration of the medium itself, hair dye, to create the artworks. What, is, uh, what are you trying to say with this exhibition? What do you want your audience to take away from uh, the body of work? Uh, I'm trying to tell other artists that do not conform to traditional art making materials to actually create your works. Um, challenge yourself as an artist and push yourself as an artist to create these works of yours. How did so you, you always have mm. to take yourself out of comfort zone? Yeah. Take us through your relationship with art. Where did this relationship start and when did um, it become official, so to speak? Uh, my discovery with art was actually at the age of seven, where I actually went through my brother's stuff. And I, initially, I was told not to go through his stuff. So go, going through his stuff, I came across a drawing book. So from that day forth, I knew that I, I want to be an artist. Throughout my years, going to my teenage years, into my youth, I knew that art is for me. Give us the tone and feel of this exhibition at the Pretoria Art Museum. Uh, it's actually at Mellow House Factory uh, in Hatfield. Mm -hmm. The tone of the works, um, it's basically a, a images that will take you through my journey as an artist and my journey as, as me mm -hmm. throughout my life. And what, what is this, um, the highlight of this journey? I mean, you, you documented and painted in this exhibition in Hatfield, but what were the highlights of embarking on this journey as an artist? Uh, I have a couple of um, highlights, actually. Um, the highlight for me at the moment is this solo exhibition, but my ultimate highlight was when I had my first group exhibition at the Tuani University Technology Gallery. So at shows right there. And then when I had my second group exhibition at uh, Pretoria Art Museum. Mm -hmm. All right. And I believe you conduct workshops as well for children. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yeah. The Children's Art Tile uh, Project, I conduct those. Uh, I've been doing those for the Pito Art Museum, where we take kids throughout the art making processes and yeah, to create works with them throughout these workshops. All right, Tato Sibu, can give us details again of the exhibition, where and when does it end? Uh, the exhibition is at Mellor House Factory in Hatfield, house number 1005, uh, Acadia and Festival Street. The right. exhibition opens today at 4 p.m. and it will run until the 15th of May. All right, Tato, good luck with the exhibition. Thank you so much for talking to us um, about his exhibition in Hatfield. Uh, it is on, and at the moment, Tato Sebuking, and he uses hair dye in that exhibition. All right, from Pretoria. Let's